So Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. But in fact, you do. Mr. Greystoke wrote to you about him coming with another person to visit. Ah, well, yes, that is right. He raised a scandal about the Mayan calendar, so he wanted to see me before the ceremony. But I don't know exactly what it was that he wanted, or who this other person he mentioned might have been. You have a fine collection at your club, with one disturbing thing in common. Oh, all the items are from our club members. But only from deceased members, including Mr. Greystone. Ah, uh, yes. But it is a rule of the club that all our members undertake to donate their personal collections to us in the event of their death. I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Hmm. Oh, him. But that's poor Mr. Albeit. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple. But everything went wrong. We were unable to enter the temple, and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias. And there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. By the way, he's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. Albeit was a club member, where is his collection? Well, the devil if I know. We never did locate it. Mr. Bernard Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh, not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. Gumbles Road. Keaton Street. Excuse me, where is Grub Street? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's the street going up the hill, not far from here. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Ah, oh, he's in his office. It's the door near the female statue in the corner of the workshop. Horse of Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. There were two large boxes. A drawing of Takunuman. No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue.
This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. Fresh scratches. A furnace for melting metal. Something large and heavy was dragged here. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunuman's statue. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Sorry, I'm too busy to chat. Mr. Holmes, you must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here? Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Ah, reassuring. Did you know Zacharias Greystoke, the victim? Yes, he was a brave friend. Such good karma until yesterday. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You were friends? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. Too courageous. You can't fight against the Kiche gods. And what of the expedition? You were seeking a Mayan temple? Yes, the temple of Tekun Uman. Another one of Charles's stupid ideas. We found it, but there was some kind of strange force that prevented us from entering. An evil aura. It was Tekunuman's emanation. We could all feel it. Albeit its disease worsened suddenly, there was nothing we could do. And now, with Zacharias's death, the curse has reawakened. After 14 years. Prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. Did Zacharias believe in the prophecy? It is not a matter of belief, don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that we could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity! Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the award ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. Your relationship with Charles Yellingham is... Not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. You know, most of his expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be in politics. He has political ambition. Well, that would be an understatement. He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds in finding money. I wonder how. What's your opinion on Takun Uman's statue having disappeared? I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. But in fact, you do. You made the statue. That's true. But it was ten years ago. You can't blame me for that. Don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No! It's Takun Uman. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be chosen by Tekunuman? Nobody.
I have to leave you now. I've got paperwork to do. And we've spoken too much. He could hear us. Tekun Uman. Well, goodbye then. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and with Watson. <laughs> Caitlin's at Miss Alice's playing the piano. She disobeyed me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to... Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, Watson. What are you going to do with it, Holmes? I can't help myself. I must open this letter. It would be easier to open this letter if I steam it. Let's prepare. Boil water in kettle. I need to turn on the gas burner first. Alice planned to live here because of me. I need to have a talk with her as soon as possible. Let's reseal it as if it was never open. I need something to apply the glue. That's it. Don't stop playing, Kate. I'm going to take some air on the balcony for a few minutes. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. How about telling me why you came here in the first place? Mr. Holmes, why do you ask? I hardly think that I'm accountable to you. Since you extended an invitation to my daughter against my wishes, I believe that you are. So said the father, cloaked in all his severity. My word, you almost frightened me. You won't say that. Very well. Ask Caitlin to come home now. Oh, poor child, let her play. Such insouciance. So useful for covering up disturbing secrets. And since you intend to hide the truth from her... What? We all have our secrets. You... Uh... But don't worry, Mr. Holmes. Caitlin is a sensitive child, and I like her enormously. Alice! Come back in! I can do it! See? <laughs> You're wonderful! I like to think that the feeling is mutual. We wouldn't want her to know of your secrets, or for her to be unhappy. I have to go inside now. Ah, Holmes, I entirely forgot. There's a man corresponding to the photograph who is a regular visitor at the Hospital for Tropical Diseases. His name is James Byron. Are you sure? That's fantastic. And we can visit him. But you should disguise yourself first. I'll introduce you as my colleague. Holmes, we have to go to the hospital. Holmes, we have to go to the hospital. Oh, 
Dr. Watson. May I help you? Hello, Baird. My colleague and I are here to see Mr. Byron. Ah, Byron. Yes, he's in a... May I help you? Patients visit this department for treatment and then return home. Department of Tropical Diseases. This should be the right place. Our man might be here. Mr. Byron? More doctors? Please, I've just received my treatment. I need to rest a while before I leave. We would like to ask you some questions about an expedition that took place 14 years ago. An expedition? What? What expedition? You're wrong. I've never left London. Is it not you in this photograph from Guatemala? Guatemala? Tecuna man! Ah! Ah! Dr. Baird! Come here quickly, I don't feel well! Ah! What on earth is going on? Please, calm down. I'm sorry, my dear colleagues, but Dr. Brunt is waiting to give Mr. Byron a private consultation. You can wait here. What should we do next, Holmes? Weren't you paying attention? We have to wait, but we'll take advantage of the situation. This address is almost invisible. <laughs> he recently purchased Chinese tobacco. Our man passed by a circus. Oh, you're still here. Obviously. We're waiting for Mr. Byron. Is he not with you? No, the gentleman left directly after his consultation. Oh, he forgot to collect his belongings. Holmes, it seems that Albeit has escaped. Obviously. And he knows that we are aware of his true identity. Quickly. I know how to find him. 
What should we do next, Holmes? Did you find Albeit's house on the map? Thanks to the information I obtained at the hospital, I can now deduce where Albeit is hiding. We know that Albeit paid a visit to an opium den, a crowded market, and a circus. He also purchased some Chinese tobacco. Let's find a place in London where all four elements are close together. Now we need to find a street name ending in O-O-K. Here it is. 21D Brook Street. Watson, I believe we found Albeit's flat. I do hope that bone has no connection to Watson's medical practice.